Today's VMUX lesson is working with the VMUX operating system files. So here we see some examples of Node operating system files for the Hercules Vista 4 data recorder. There's about eight or nine of them all together. All Node operating system files begin with the letters VM for VMUX as the leading letters in the file name. So where do we get the latest versions of the VMUX operating system files? They're always available for download from our online support page at www.v-mux.com. At the left side of the page there you see the link for software updates and downloads. Click on that link to go to the support page. You can also click on a tab towards the top of the page called Vehicle Electronics, which will bring up a menu of items and towards the right is another link for VMUX software updates. Here we've arrived at the VMUX software support page. The top section, listed as Node Operating System Files, contains the nine current OS files for the VMUX nodes. Right-click on the operating system file to download to your computer. On the pop-up menu that appears, select Save Target As. Here we see that Save Target As has brought up the Save As dialog window. So where do we save these files to? It's a folder underneath my documents called VMUX. Suppose you're having problems locating the folder, My Documents VMUX. Well, back on your computer desktop, and we're looking at a picture here of a Windows 7 desktop, click on the Start button at the lower left, and on the Programs pop-up menu, over towards the upper right, click on Documents, could be called My Documents, Another window opens up uh, listing the Explorer, the Windows File Explorer view of your computer's uh, folders and files. And you want to locate My Documents and then underneath that a folder that should have already been created for you uh, by installing Diagnostics and Downloader software. But if not, you can create your own folder called VMUX, once again with a hyphen, a dash, between the V and the MUX located underneath My Documents. Here we have an expanded view of the Windows File Explorer window that was introduced in the last slide. This window is very similar to the Save Target As window that comes up when you were saving files from the website. The important thing here is that we see the VMUX folder underneath My Documents. That's the folder that these files get saved into. To see that the operating system files are recognized by downloader, Click on the Settings tool at the upper left. On the pop-up menu that appears, click on Node OS Versions. The File Locations window will appear, another pop-up window. The upper portion of the window shows once again the path to the VMUX folder, which is uh, My Documents VMUX. The lower portion of the window shows a listing for all of the VMUX nodes, the current version numbers of those operating system files. You do have the ability to change the path uh, to any of the operating system files for the nodes, or even the entire default path. In the upper section, there's a button called Change that, if you click on that, will allow you to select a completely different folder if you want uh, for your file location. And then individually, next to all of the nodes, uh, to the right of the version numbers for the Node OS files are individual file select buttons that let you choose between different folders if you need to. Back in the main view of Downloader is a checkbox located towards the lower left called Reprogram Node Operating System Full Download. Usually, you do not have to select or check that box during a transfer. If it was selected, what would happen is the version of the operating system file for the selected node would transfer over from your computer and overwrite and thereby update the version in the node memory. Not every VMUX node has to have an OS update during every transfer, so usually you do not check that box. So when does the checkbox get selected? That happens when you've been notified that there is an operating system file update necessary for the particular node. When the node binary file is selected through use of the File button at the top of Downloader, in the lower message area, information will be listed about the selected file and its corresponding node. 
The listed version number of the OS file, in this case 2.09, is the version number that's on the computer, not necessarily the version number that's loaded into the node currently. You must use the VMUX Diagnostics program to determine the version of the OS file on board the node. This ends today's lesson.